what's up guys and welcome back to another video right into my youtube channel today i'm gonna basically tell you how to fix the unknown error in red dead redemption 2 so um stick to the end guys this will be a step-by-step -step tutorial in the end you'll probably know what to do in order to fix this issue before we start right into the video i just want to you guys know let you guys know that i would really really appreciate it if you would just leave a like a comment or a subscription right into my youtube channel it would really make my day and help me out as a little youtuber as i am Especially subscribing would be big support for me guys and you would support my work here on YouTube a little bit I mean, it's free for you and you would support me and I would really be thankful for that And I'm gonna thank you for that and I would just say let's get right started So um, what I want you to do as the first step is gonna be to open up your task manager by right clicking the taskbar and opening it up So once it opened up, I want you to navigate to the top left corner of your screen clicking onto processes and uh, searching for Red Dead Redemption 2 by just clicking one of those processes, uh, clicking R, so searching for Red Dead Redemption 2. If nothing pops up, you're fine. If something pops up, you're gonna right click and simply end the task. So once you're finished here, I want you to, uh, to basically close this one. And as the next step, I want you to take your Steam shortcut on your desktop and I want you to right click it and click on the properties. Once you click on properties, I want you to click on compatibility and basically just copy my settings so compatibility mode enable run this program in compatibility mode 4 select windows 8 disable this is disable full screen optimizations as well as enable run this program as an administrator once you did that i want you to hit apply and ok afterwards you should be able to see this little administrator symbol on your steam shortcut and i want you to double click it and start your steam and launch your game over the launcher yeah guys that's it for the video i hope i could actually help you out of this one if it was like that just leave a like a comment or a subscription i'm gonna really be thankful for that and i'm really sorry if i couldn't help you guys but i'm just gonna do my best in order to help you out either way i hope you guys have a wonderful day see you at the next one and bye